Kialaku Deka Ala Zanja <risa> Imaginando lo imaginable, ¿qué me imaginaba una imagen de su imaginación? Hola mis amigotes, bienvenidos a Easy Peasy Spanish with Angie. Today you are in my garden. And this is episode number three of our series, Master Your Spanish Pronunciation with Tongue Twisters. Any question, please write it in the comment section. I will be happy to read everything and I will also answer it to you. Without further ado, let's start with episode three. As you could see in the title, today we are going to be learning about letter G, la G, letter J, la J, and the combination of G and U and G with U, but with two dots on top called dieresis. This can be very confusing for many students, but this is the end of the confusion. Vamos a comenzar con la J. Let's start with la J. This consonant has always the same sound, and the sound is like a H in English. For example, José, José. We don't say José, José. If you haven't watched our episode two, I advise you to go and watch it because I'm teaching you the proper pronunciation of the Spanish vowels. This will help you a lot to improve your Spanish pronunciation. Ahora, vamos a combinar la J con las vocales. Let's combine letter J with the vowels. Ja, he, he, ho, hu, ha, Jamón. He. Ejemplo. He. Jirafa. Ho. José. And who. Jueves. Now let's listen to our British friend. He will try on one of our tongue twisters. On this occasion, I'm not going to comment on any of my guests. I want you to write your comments in the comment section. Listen very well to his pronunciation. And with what you have learned, I want you to spot any mistake and please write it down on the comment section. This will help you to improve your listening skills and you will also come across some mistakes that you probably do. After my British friend, I will be repeating the tongue twister and I want you also to compare my pronunciation with his. Let's listen to him. Juan Junta Junkos a la Zanja. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That was so funny. I absolutely enjoyed it. Now I will repeat this tongue twister for you. I will look down because I'm looking to my laptop and I want you to repeat after me. Juan Junta Juncos Junto A La Sanja. Now get ready to compare my pronunciation with my British friend and write your comments in the comment section. I will also write my comment in the description box. I want you to write your own comments and then you can compare your comments with mine. Letter G, la G. There are different ways to pronounce la G. So it can sound as the H in English or la J in Spanish, as in hello. But it can also make a different sound. And is the same sound that we have in English. 
as in gate, g, gate. So what, how do you know which one is the right pronunciation? Well, la he, mas, la a, la o, y la u, you make the sound g. So we need to say ga, go, gu. Now let me give you some examples. Ga, gastar, gato, go, goma, gordo, gu, gustar, agua. Dame un poco de agua, por favor. Now, let's listen to my British friend trying on this tongue twister. Remember to listen very well to his pronunciation and write your comments in the comment section. If you want to have a look at my comment, just go and have a look in the description box. Oh, let's see what he's going to do. <laughs> Elega, galo, alago, iliga. Luego, alego, de lugo, moelago, an lengua, que alago, lega, tras, y vengas, laguas. I have to tell my guests that I really appreciate their effort. They were great. They were very brave to try on a language that they don't speak. Now I will repeat this tongue twister back to you. Would you like to repeat after me? Come on, try. Llega. Galo. Al. Lago. Y. Liga. Luego. Al. Lego. De Lugo. Muy largo. En lengua. Que al lago llega tras luengas leguas. Vamos a combinar la G con la E y la I. When you see letter G before E or I, the sound will, would be like a H in English. So you would say G, he. For example, gente, gente, genio, genio. He, girasol, gigante. Now is the time to listen to my Italian friend. This is a very particular case because he lives in Spain and he's married to a Dominican. So I'm very curious to see how he's going to manage this tongue twister. Pay attention and write your comments. And have a look at my comments in the description box. Imaginando lo imaginable, ya me imaginaba una imagen de su imaginación. Now I will repeat the tongue twister to you. Imaginando, imaginando, lo imaginable, gema, imaginaba, una imagen, de su imaginación. Imaginando lo imaginable, he me imaginaba una imagen de su imaginación. There is another occasion when you can make the same sound uh, as in gate or get. When you see this combination, you will always pronounce it in this way. Ge, gi. For example, ge, Gui, guerra, guerra. We don't say guerra, we say 
guerra. You don't pronounce the U. When you have this combination, you don't pronounce the U. So you say guerra. Now, how will you pronounce this word? Because you have learned how to pronounce la J, and now you know how to pronounce this combination. So please tell me, how would you say toy in Spanish? Let me listen to you. If you said juguete, you are absolutely right. Juguete. Gui, conseguir, conseguir. We don't say conseguir, conseguir. Now, there is one occasion when you have to pronounce the vowel U, la vocal U. And it's when you see two little dots on the top of the vowel U. These two dots are called dieresis. And what this symbol means is you have to pronounce me. Yes. So let's see. If you see la G con la U y la dieresis más plus E y la I then you will say gue, gue, and gui. Can you see the difference? I'm pronouncing now the vowel u, la vocal u, because of the diéresis. Por ejemplo, antigüedad, antigüedad, gue, guedad, antigüedad, pingüino, pingüino. And now this is the opportunity to listen to our guest. Let's listen to her. She's a British uh, girl. Her mother is Dominican. This is me. Yo soy su madre. And her father is Italian. I introduce her and I uh, es, um, explain you a little bit of her background on episode two if you haven't watched it. So now let's listen to her and let's see how is she going to manage with this gue and gui sound? En la antigüedad, guido, guido la guerra. En la guerra había una guerra sin vergüenza. Cerca la guerra estaba la guerra sin vergüenza. Guido mira la guerra y dejó la guerra por la guerra. Exactly what I was expecting, but mm, I'm not saying anything because you need to write your comments in the comment section and I will be writing mine where? Yes, in the description box. Now I will um, read the tongue twister for you. In this way you can practice, but you can also compare my pronunciation with hers. Please pay attention. I previously explained the sound of ge, gi, gue, gui. So you need to pay attention to the words with the dieresis. And this will let you know when you have to say gue or gui. Now let's listen to the tongue twister. En la antigüedad guido. Guió la guerra. En la guerra había una güera. Sin vergüenza. Cerca de la güera. Estaba la güera sin vergüenza. Guido miró la güera. Y dejó la guerra por la güera. Now, let's take a little bit of a challenge and let's see if I can say this quick. Mm, this is going to be a mouthful. En la antigüedad, Guido guió la guerra. En la guerra vio una güera sin vergüenza. Cerca de la güera estaba la güera sin vergüenza. Guido miró la güera y dejó la güera por la güera. No, y dejó la guerra por la güera. Finally, on episode nine, we are having a tongue twister challenge. I will be taking on this challenge 
So I will ask you to write the most difficult Spanish tongue twisters or perhaps the tongue twisters that you would like to learn. And I will be saying those tongue twisters back to you. So in each episode, feel free to write any tongue twister in Spanish and I will take on the challenge challenge on episode nine. Please write in the comment section, what did you learn new today? If you have enjoyed the, le the lesson and please don't forget to go without giving me a thumb up. It's very important. I will see you next time. Nos vemos en una próxima aquí en Easy Peasy Spanish with Angie. Adiós, mis amigotes.